joining us on an, our inaugural show. It is only fitting. You, of course, know him. Former Grand Slam champion, former All-American, future best man at my hypothetical wedding, Luke Jensen, back on the show today. I know her as B-Dog. Bethany Mary Sands, <laughs> welcome to the show. I'm going to ask you a question. Don't worry, they're not that bad. Uh, and you will have the choice of either answering that question or okay. taking a shot. Ashley Barty, year end number one. Luke, I know you feel strongly yeah. about this. <laughs> run! Run! <laughs> I want a recount! Yeah. I'm going through some stressful situations. Like a marriage, it's about communication. It's about tone, guys. You could be right, like we could be correct, but there's more to it than that. You shift that to the French experience where Nadal really stepped up. I, I, the final wasn't the one we looked for, but it was two heavyweights and Djokovic, and of course Nadal winning his 13th. But I think the biggest thing is, considering all the travel and everything that could go wrong in 2020, tennis really pulled off really a Houdini act. Who's the yeah. biggest drinker? But or the best drinker, I mean, I... the best drinker, the best drinker, not the biggest, um... the best. I'm gonna be, uh, yeah, I'll take a drink on that. Yeah, there it is. May, it yeah. might be me, actually. Yeah. So maybe Point Alex. Real drink. Yeah. Well, Luke auditioned for a Hallmark movie soon. I think that's a little bit off topic, but I like it nevertheless. What do you guys think? Am I like, is this a good look for me? I It's kind of risky I getting like it, it on the fingers. These aren't real yet. I got <laughs> these. I got these as a test to see if I was that kind of girl to get uh, some knuckle tattoos. I feel like that's another level. For Luke Jensen, all of us here at the Tennis One app, I'm your host, Alex Gruskin. Thank you for joining us on Crack One Open, and we will see you all next time.